Hey guys, what's up? So I'm really excited about this new project I'm working on because it's a story I came up with when I was 18. Even at that time, I thought it was extremely explicit with the sex and the gore. Since then, my mind has elaborated more on what direction I wanted the characters to go. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put myself out there then as a writer. I guess I wasn't confident enough, but now I'm seeing it as a challenge and it's so daring. Removing the disturb sign is actually a mixture of two things that I created, a poem and that story that was never written. I thought the character needed a past and well, now here is his present. So this is it. Removing a do not disturb sign, episode four, party of three. Xavier wakes up the next day in Landon's bedroom, but he's not there. However, there is a note on the sheets of his bedside saying, meet me in the kitchen for breakfast. Xavier has this idea of Landon being this Prince Charming in his head. That's his expectation. When he gets out of bed and looks himself in the mirror, he sees that he's naked, which is rare. Maybe he's insecure about his body. Maybe it's part of his personality, or maybe it's just a persona. When he walks out of the room into the hallway, he gets to the main room where the indoor pool is. He sees a man naked swimming in the bottom of the pool. He assumes it's Landon, but then he actually hears Landon's voice from the kitchen saying, I hope you like pancakes, so obviously there's another man in the house. He thought maybe it's the butler or the pool boy. These are the naive, oblivious thoughts going through poor Xavier's head. When the blonde Ken doll got out of the pool, he introduced himself as Caden. The tension between them is a little bit awkward. Caden knows more about Xavier, while Xavier is still so confused on who this stranger is. He even slapped Xavier's ass. After that, he felt as if he should at least get an explanation. With a little bit of sass and sarcasm, he revealed that he was Landon's husband. Even though this was such an awkward situation for the characters, I wanted to put some humor, and Caden was the shady queen to do it. During breakfast, both of them explained to him that they had an open marriage. This being all new to Xavier, both Landon and Caden explained it to him, but in very different ways, which made them start bickering like an old married couple. This wasn't what Xavier expected. It was way more than he bargained for. He told them that he had to go to work and he had a lot of errands to do today. He left the kitchen, going to the bedroom, quickly getting all of his clothes. While that's happening, Caden and Landon argue. How could you explain it like that? You only use us having rules when it's convenient for you. You fuck any guy wherever you land, since he's a flight attendant. The fight escalated further and further. However, it was Caden that had the last word when he said that he's never named any of his tricks, toys, or lovers. And that's when Landon said, well, he's different. They both hear the door slam and Landon gets up to quickly go after Xavier. Thankfully, he's still sitting on one of the patio's chairs in the front, waiting for an Uber in tears. I think the last scene of this episode was the most powerful when Landon tells him the story that made him change his idea of relationships. Also, that he once was like him, but Xavier refused to believe he could ever be like that. After the story, Lennon told him of the bad breakup that he gave up on monogamy. He knew that he didn't love his own husband, especially when he said, don't ever give your heart to any man because they don't deserve it. Xavier got up and gave him his hand and told him that it was nice meeting him. He also said, think about it, staying in that home with both of them. But in Xavier's mind, he's doing this to save the marriage or make it look like. Stay tuned for the next episode.